Uh, so my name is uh, Mark George and I'm a psychiatrist and a neurologist and I do some clinical care uh, but largely I do research. I began my career here 20 years ago uh, doing um, research brain imaging. So we created a, an imaging center where we would be able to look inside the brain uh, to figure out how the brain works. So I'm kind of a basic neuroscientist in that respect. But my major interest has always been emotion in the brain. Uh, how do we process emotions? What happens when we're sad, when we grieve? And so um, more recently as a spinoff of the brain imaging research, we've developed a whole series of ways of actually stimulating the brain. And we do that over here. So most of my time is spent actually stimulating the brain or thinking about how to stimulate the brain, either to answer a, a question about how the brain works or to see if we can come up with a way to treat patients. Uh, so TMS, or transcranial magnetic stimulation, was FDA approved for the treatment of depression in October of 2008. Well, I first became uh, aware of TMS when I did a research fellowship uh, back in 1989 in London. The technology in its modern form had been invented in 85, and so I just happened to be at the one hospital that actually had one of the devices, and the lab was right above my lab. And then when I went to the NIH, they also had one of these devices, and so I studied with that for three or four years in Bethesda, and then when I came back here 20 years ago, I uh, purchased a machine and have been using the research ever since. TMS has taken off as a treatment for um, depression. There are still a lot of unanswered questions. Only maybe about half the people who get it get better. So why, why is that? What can we do to make it so that everybody uh, responds? Can we improve it? And there are lots of ideas about how to change the way that we do it uh, to get it better. There are other ideas about using it, not just in depression, but other brain diseases. So um, uh, using it as an anti-pain device, using it for anxiety disorders. TMS is just one of maybe a dozen new ways that we have to get in and stimulate the brain. Some of them invasive, involving passing a wire into the brain, but a lot of them non-invasive, just like TMS. And so a lot of our research is actually trying to figure out not only TMS, but these other technologies and how we might be able to use them. Some research that we're starting that I'm very excited about is uh, can we use non-invasive brain stimulation in people who've had a stroke and combine the stimulation with uh, physical therapy, other forms of rehab, and actually get the brain to kind of regrow and uh, come back online. And uh, that's still experimental, but I'm really uh, excited that we we'll have another hit like we have in depression in terms of a treatment that could really multiply out.